Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll uh, discuss Cauchy Gupta theorem and some applications of Cauchy Gupta theorem. So let us go into the statement first. So you'll see if Fz be analytic in a simply connected open region R, okay, and there you take rectifiable closed curve gamma okay then if you want to integrate this fz along this curve gamma then the result is zero okay that is the statement of cauchy gupta theorem so now let us try to understand what does it say so you need to take a simply connected region now what is called a simply connected region you see this is an example of simply connected region or this is also an example of simply connected region okay so what does it mean so here in this region if you take a closed Jordan curve, what is called a closed Jordan curve? So in my uh, video regarding curve in a complex plane, I have explained all those things in very detail. Okay. So just now we will consider a, a closed Jordan curve. Okay. That means uh, like this, a closed curve. Okay. Or here I can take, so this kinds of curve say. So this is the region there you are taking a curve which is a closed curve right so this is a closed curve jordan curve so you see what is the definition if the interior of the closed jordan curve is also contained in r okay so you see so if i take this closed curve the interior part of this curve that means the region bounded by this curve is also contained in this region right but if you consider this part, so this is the region, right? Okay. So this is the region. So there, there are some holes over there. So here, if you consider some closed curve, Jordan curve over here, you see its interior part okay, does not contain all the regions who, who are contained in this region R. Right, because because of these holes, right? Okay, so like this. So if you take some annular region, like a tire shaped region, okay. So this is the tire shaped region here we have. So here, if you take some curve like this, okay, which is a closed Jordan curve, so its interior part is not fully contained in the region because of this, because of the presence of this part, right? Okay, so this is not a simple closed car region. Okay, simply connected region. This is called a multiply connected region. Okay, so we are actually concerned about simply connected region. So wherever you consider a closed car that is contained fully in the region, the interior part of this car is contained fully in this region. That means it is a simply connected region. Or you can say, so if you try to shrink this curve, okay, so it will converge to a point, okay, which is a point in the car, in the region R. But here, if you try to contract this curve, this Jordan curve gamma, okay, close Jordan curve gamma, so you cannot get a point which is solely belong to the region R because of this part present over here. Okay, so this is about simply connected region. I hope you can now identify simply connected region. Okay, so in a simply connected region, if you take a rectifiable closed curve, what is rectifiable? What does it mean? Rectifiable curve means this is a finite length, a finite length. Okay, so these are the terms we use. So in a simply connected region, if you take a closed Jordan curve, okay, if you want to integrate along this curve with ZDZ, then it would be zero, okay? So now, why it is so? So let us, uh, so we have already discussed in, uh, in the chapter of line integrals, complex line integrals, that if you take a region, okay? So this is the region, say, uh, R, and here you take Z1 and Z2, two points. Okay, so if you want to integrate a function fz from z1 and z2, what happens? So the result depends on whether the function fz is analytic, right? So if the function fz is analytic, then what happens? So and you are integrating fz, so fz is analytic in the region R, right? So if we want to integrate fz from z1 to z2, say along the curve c1, Okay, so along the curve C1, we are integrating, right? So uh, suppose the value is uh, suppose D, okay? And I also integrate along some other curve C2, 
two over here, right? So the result is if x is analytic in R, right? So whatever may be the path you consider between z one and z two, you're going to get the same answer, right? That means this integral z one to z two x z dz is path independent, right? Okay. So what does it mean? Integral along c one x z dz. Is exactly same as integral along c two x z dz, right? So here I can write this as integral along c one x z dz plus minus integral along c two x z dz, right? Okay, equal to zero. Now what is c two? What is minus of sub curve gamma? Okay. So I have discussed uh, that. Uh, so if I take, so if I take C two in this, so C two is the curve which is uh, in this direction. Okay. So what is the curve just in the opposite direction? Okay. The same curve in the opposite direction can be represented by minus of C two, right? And you already know integral over C two f z d z is exactly same as minus of Integral over minus of c two x z dz, right? Okay, that means just in the opposite direction. So I can write this as so I can write this as. So if I consider this to be a closed curve, right? So starting with, uh, so I, I'm going in uh, from z one to z two. Then what if I go in this direction? Okay, so in this direction I'm going. So z two to z one. That means this is this represents a closed curve, isn't it? So this represents in the, that case this represents a closed curve. Okay. So I'm going in this direction, right? C one, which is along C one, then negative of C two. Okay, in the reverse direction of C two. So z one to z two. So this is a closed curve, right? Okay, in this direction, this is a closed curve. So you can see. So integral. So if I consider this closed curve, so along C, f z d z is zero. Isn't it okay? So in a region R where if it is analytic, okay, so there, if you integrate along any closed curve gamma, the value is always zero, okay. So let us consider some examples. So here you see it is f z d z. So what is our f z? It is one by z plus two into z plus three. Right. So, what is the region given? So, let us try to first draw the region. So, what is mod z is equal to one? This is actually a circle with center zero and radius one, isn't it? Okay. So, this is a circle with to draw it properly. So, this is a circle with center zero and radius one. Okay. This is the point one zero. This is Minus of one zero, it is i, or you can write this as zero one, and uh, this is minus of i. Okay, or you can write this as zero minus of one. Okay, so now see what about f z? Okay, so you see the function f z is analytic within this region. Within this domain C, isn't it? The, uh, so I can say Cauchy-Gussel theorem in another way. That means uh, if, uh, I can say so if uh, f z is analytic, so I can say this as if f z is analytic within and on within and on a closed curve, a closed curve gamma, then integral over gamma f z d z is equal to c. Okay, so without integrating using Cauchy-Gauss theorem, the statement we can write this as zero. Okay, so now let us check whether f z is analytic. Okay, so for this you see, so f z is equal to one by z plus two and z minus z plus two, right? So if I if you take z is equal to minus of two, okay, at the point z is equal to minus of two, so if you consider the point minus two zero. Okay, so there we have a singularity, and at the point z is equal to minus of three, that is minus of three zero point. There is a singularity. Now, what so what does this say? What is called a singularity? Okay, 
So here we'll just write the definition and we'll discuss it in, in, in the elaborate way in the chapter singularity and there we'll also classify the singularities. Okay, now what is the singularity of a function? If fz fails to be analytic, at z0 okay but it is analytic in some neighborhood of z0 then z0 is called singularity of the function fz okay So here you see, so except the point z is equal to minus 2 and z equal to minus 3, these are the only possible singularities of the function fz. So at every such other points, the function is analytic, isn't it? It is defined at such, such points. So if I consider this region, okay, this is the curve along which you are going to integrate mod z is equal to 1, you see the singularities are not over here, okay? So we are not really bothered about these points right because we are integrating in this region okay so along this curve if i want to integrate you see if fz is analytic within an on closed curve gamma so no singularities are there within this gamma okay within this region or on the curve gamma right so here so within an on gamma the function is totally analytic right so using cauchy gussa theorem we can say the value is zero okay so let us consider another example, same. Not z is equal to half, okay? So here we have to integrate. So let us try to first draw the car. So what is it you see mod z is equal to half mod z equal to half represents a circle with center zero and radius half right okay radius is half so here it is the point half zero here it is minus of half zero okay so it is i by two and it is minus of i by two i can write this as right so what about the function fz you see fz is equal to z square minus of z plus 1 divided by z minus 1. So here the possible singularity, the possible singularity of fz is z is equal to 1, right? Okay, so what is z equal to 1? Which is situated over here, somewhere over here, right? 1, 0. So 1, 0 point is the only singularity of the function and it is beyond our region, right? So we are integrating along this curve gamma, okay? Along this curve C, right? And within an on gamma, within an on C, there is no singularity present over here because for this function, there is only one possible singularity, which is Z equal to one, right? So if I want to integrate along this curve, so by cauchy gussa theorem, We can say we have we, we have this integral z square minus of z plus one divided by z minus one dz c is equal to zero. Okay. Now what happens? Uh, so if I want to integrate the same uh, function f z. Okay. So if I want to integrate the same function, say z square minus z plus one by z minus one dz along some curve gamma, say what is the curve gamma, say it is mod z is equal to 2, okay, then what happens, right? So, let us try to draw, so now, so this is the curve gamma, right, okay, so which is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2, so it is 2, 0, it is minus of 2, 0, okay, it is 2i and it is minus of 2i, right? So here, what is the possible singularity of fz? So that is z is equal to 1, right? At z is equal to 1, the function is not defined, okay? So in that case, where is z is equal to 1? Which is situated over here, right? Okay? 
so so the conditions of pochi gutsu theorem was, uh, are not satisfied isn't it because fz is not analytic within a non gamma your we have a point of singularity present over here okay so we cannot apply cauchy gutsu theorem in that case we have to apply cauchy's integral formula okay there is cauchy's integral formula so that i'll discuss in the next video okay thank you all